Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a recent clip that resurfaced and receiving some controversy. This is about RM's family and what people are saying about this. So I have some thoughts here. I also want to get into RM's little mental breakdown over some news and what happened late last night. Things always seem to be happening late at night. So grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's jump into the tape. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and to new video drops. Any of you a hater, I'd like to be first to leave your hate comment please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into is RM. People have been thinking for the longest time that he has a family and is secretly married. It's often from his actions with rings on his hands to even sometimes little things he, that he says that makes armies believe he is married. There is this ongoing joke and meme that we must all act surprised when RM finally announces he's married. Things like him buying baby shoes to him being around kids and even him talking about wanting to settle down. All add to this rumor that he may already be and that even he could be teasing these things to see if armies are supportive and then BAM drops the news. However, these are all theories and these have no concrete evidence other than the words he says which are then being taken and interpreted in many different ways. Earlier this year an interview actually came out and it's kind of being talked about again and people are re-looking into his words and kind of addressing everything. Now I am not the one to break this story, other channels have talked about it which is why, which is why I'm talking about it and it's starting to get more attention. This was an interview with Sirius XM and BTS at the time, it was just announced that they will receive the Grammy nomination for Dynamite or Booter. I can't remember which, but while the clip was posted this year, it seemed like it was an older one and they didn't even mention Butter in the clip, but just Dynamite. So it makes me think it might be when BTS was nominated for Dynamite. I believe Butter was nominated too, so I think they're a two-time nominated group. The interview talked about if BTS had any pre-show routines for something like the Grammys, and I was surprised to see that they did. I imagine that most American idols who get nominated for a Grammy do some sort of superstitious thing backstage to hope that they win. So maybe they'll pray, maybe they'll hug each other, you know, whatever. Similar to how athletes will slap each other's butt or kiss something. Apparently what they'll do in Korean, BTS, is put their hands together and scream BTS. Given it was their dynamite nomination, then they had never been nominated before, so they never had a specific Grammy ritual, which I don't think would be the same as winning an award at the Teen Choice Awards. Like maybe between Grammy and and teen choice, you wouldn't care as much for the teen choice. Although any award is an honor to win, but I feel like BTS has outgrown those awards and it's about time for their Grammy. So aside from the rituals, the interview of Sirius XM also asked what BTS would do with the trophy. I don't know if a boy group gets one trophy or a trophy for each of the members, but all of the other boys answered the question by saying that they would love to take the award and put it in their house. RM gave a unique answer and talked about how he would like to copy it and put it everywhere. And he said he would put it in his family's home, parents' home, and label. This became a topic of conversation as people were very curious why he separated parents' and family's home. Because the thought here is that if he was in a relationship or married, family would be referring to his wife and kids, and then parents' home would be referring to his parents. Why did he separate the two? He must be saying he has a wife and kids or whatever. I went ahead and watched the clip, and to be honest, the way I see the way he said this comment, it wasn't him separating the two. It was him clarifying. Like if I said I listened to Jungkook, you Euphoria. That's not saying I listened to Jungkook and then Euphoria. It's clarifying what I meant when I said I listened to Jungkook. I think RM wanted to clarify that when he said family, he meant parents. Not that he had a separate family. At least that's how it appears to me. I think he thought if he had just said family, people would speculate about his family when he probably meant his parents. I can totally see him having a family soon and maybe even sharing his wins with the family. I imagine he would love to give a Grammy award one day to his significant other. But not today. I think it's really sweet to duplicate the award and put it everywhere and it shows how much it means to you. But I hope RM and BTS realizes that an award is an award and nothing more than a pretentious piece of plastic or whatever it's made out of. It's a title that is attached to their name. Being able to say BTS is a Grammy winning group. But Grammy kind of lost their prestige when they started giving the awards to artists like Gucci Mane and it became clear that as long as you were not Asian and had mediocre success, you could even win the award. However, I just don't understand awards that are so biased and people want them so badly. Getting a Grammy doesn't guarantee that your next album will sell out or that your label won't drop you in a few years or that even your next concert will sell out. It means you got the award. I studied film in college a little bit and one of my professors was Oscar nominated. She eventually changed careers from being a director to a film teacher because she said she didn't know how to sustain her career in film even with the nomination. There's nothing wrong with changing careers and I'm not saying she's not successful but if the point of winning an award is to feel like you're winning in life it shouldn't be because it 
doesn't signify that you've won. Continuously doing what you love and being really good at it is success, not a piece of plastic or title. Being Asian, and RM has talked about this, means that we are going to want to achieve those titles, but I hope that perspective changes. I hope RM is okay and doing well. There's been a lot of stress, or at least it seems like he has been under a lot of stress. He was seen working really late at the studio and even posting around midnight Korean time. He was seen walking or biking home late at night, and so we know he has been up to something and has been doing a lot. So we know he is also very stressed. He posted a kind of cryptic message on El Weavers, and people were freaking out on what this could possibly mean. Keep in mind, this is translated from Korean to English by an army, and they said that this is what he wrote. He posted this first, saying, As I did PC cleaning wrong today, only the audio files I worked on for more than a year got deleted, a whole mental breakdown in itself. Still, I tried having strength. I had almost finished it. Sure, the worst day out of the year. This is very sad to hear and very frustrating, but I am hoping that he had some sort of backup file or that Big Hit had some, but I am hoping maybe he knows that most files, like 99% of files, are recoverable and that if he just has someone from Hive, maybe the Hive tech team to take a look, it is possible he can recover them and maybe not have to re-record everything. But even if he has to re-record everything, it won't take nearly as long as he probably knows the melodies and has the lyrics all written down. But hopefully a lesson to learn to back everything up like five times, or at least what people do on film sets is that they'll immediately, once the card is full, they'll send it off to the editor or to a backup hard drive somewhere way off set. And it's often password protected and the signal is encrypted. This is for a lot of high production, like Disney probably does this. And this is because those files, similar to RM's music, are worth a lot of money. And likely RM knows this. I highly doubt I would be breaking this to him as he has way more experience than I do on set, and maybe this was just a one-time mistake. Armies were no doubt very worried and flooded his post with a lot of comments. So RM very quickly, when seeing this, decided to post another statement and he wrote, uh, just in case you're worried, it's just one song. The other few are stored and kept by other people safely. But this one had over 60 tracks that were recorded, so I can't bring my Myself to redo it. Still, I'll work on it well and somebody be sure. So obviously this was a one-time mistake and he does keep the other tracks safe. However, you can still recover deleted files. Please look into that. Don't re-record 60 tracks. In case you're confused, I know I was. It's one song with 60 layers probably on it. So backing vocals, harmonies, all those were layers. So he would have to re-record all of that again. And obviously he doesn't want to. But just look into it and nothing is deleted forever. And I think especially if you're using an Apple product, I think it could still be there within 30 days or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I do believe you can have your best men from Hybe look into it and you'll have it back in no time. I think everyone can relate to how frustrating this is, like if you're writing a paper and everything crashes and you forget to save, but this would be more similar to working on something for a year and never pressing save once and then everything crashes. Oh my God, I can't even imagine how I would feel. My soul would leave my body as I try to rethink if I ever press the save button once in a whole year. I hope everything is okay. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. Currently, we do have over 400 videos that are already up on there that we do have a great time interacting and having fun with. So if you're interested in being a part of that, link is in the top description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front page and it's free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.